12 signs he is forcing himself to love you. Discovering that your partner may be making an effort to love you can be disheartening. Typically, it begins with subtle indicators that are easy to dismiss, such as decreased responsiveness or a lack of genuine laughter in his eyes. The frequency of his good night texts may diminish, and the once delightful surprises that brightened your day may become infrequent. Initially, you might rationalize these changes by attributing them to fatigue or temporary stress. After all, everyone experiences challenging days, right? However, when these signs form a consistent pattern, it may signify more than just a rough day. It could suggest that he is grappling with his emotions, possibly even attempting to force himself to love you. 1. Forced happiness. He chuckles, he grins, yet somehow, the genuine joy doesn't reflect in his eyes. Authentic happiness and true enjoyment are challenging to feign, and insincerity often becomes apparent. What's crucial is to maintain an open mind and a rational perspective. Reflect on moments when you both shared laughter or when he genuinely found something amusing. Contrast those instances with the current situation. Is there a noticeable disparity? Remember, the evidence lies in recurring patterns, not isolated occurrences. If there's a consistent absence of authentic joy, it raises concerns. Interestingly, studies propose that genuine laughter, especially stemming from shared humor, serves as a powerful bonding factor in relationships. Therefore, when it's absent or feels forced, it could indicate that the relationship is lacking genuine connection. 2. He rarely initiates intimacy. Intimacy stands as one of the deepest avenues through which couples convey their love and affection. It transcends mere physical touch, it involves emotional closeness, vulnerability, and shared understanding. Should he fail to take the lead in fostering intimacy, it might suggest that he's exerting effort to sustain a connection that lacks authenticity. Take note of the frequency with which he initiates intimate moments, contrasting it with your own initiatives. This pertains not only to physical intimacy but also to emotional closeness, such as the sharing of personal thoughts or experiences. 3. The connection is surface level. Conversations appear to be confined to small talk or casual banter, and shared activities, while enjoyable, never delve beneath the surface. In the context of love, individuals typically feel an innate desire to open up and share their innermost thoughts, emotions, and experiences with their partner. The absence of this depth could be an indication that he is holding back, impeding the growth of a more profound emotional connection. Reflect on the nature of your conversations. Do they center around deeper subjects like hopes, fears, and dreams, or do they remain fixated on surface-level matters like daily affairs or the latest Netflix show? It's important to note that depth in discussions doesn't need to be a constant requirement. Nevertheless, a consistent trend of interactions staying superficial may suggest that he is making an effort to feign affection. 4. Less physical affection. Individuals who are authentically in love tend to incorporate small touches, caresses, or kisses into their interactions with their partners naturally. When these gestures decrease in frequency or intensity, or feel more robotic than spontaneous, it may suggest that he's attempting to manufacture emotions that aren't genuinely present. The physical bond between partners serves as a nonverbal yet crucial means of expressing love and affection, functioning as a silent language shared exclusively between lovers. If this connection dwindles, it could imply that he is forcing himself to love you. Exercise caution in refraining from drawing conclusions based on isolated instances. It's common for people to have periods when their affectionate gestures may be less pronounced. However, if you observe a consistent withdrawal from physical intimacy, it might indicate a deeper underlying issue. 5. He's often absent, even when he's with you. Quality time together plays a pivotal role in fortifying the connection between partners. When one person consistently appears distant or disinterested, it may signify a deficiency in emotional engagement. Even if he is physically present, his attention might be more captivated by his phone, a book, or a TV show. Merely sharing physical space is insufficient, emotional presence is equally vital in any relationship. Having someone there in body but not in spirit is akin to viewing a beautiful painting in grayscale, there's a crucial element missing. Once again, it's essential to consider the broader pattern rather than focusing on isolated incidents. It's normal for individuals to get lost in their thoughts or be momentarily distracted. However, if his lack of presence persists during your shared moments, it warrants exploration to determine if he may be forcing himself to love you. Engaging in open and honest conversations with your partner about your feelings and concerns is always recommended. Effective communication serves as the lifeblood of any healthy relationship. 
6. He's often in a bad mood around you. In an authentic and loving relationship, spending time with your partner usually elicits joy and contentment rather than persistent annoyance or frustration. Moodiness may serve as an indicator that he is uneasy within the relationship, expressing itself through irritability, impatience, or a general sense of dissatisfaction. These emotions might be symptomatic of him attempting to force a sentiment that doesn't authentically exist. Take note of his behavior around others in comparison to when he's with you. Is there a noticeable contrast? Does he appear more at ease, joyful, or relaxed in the company of friends or family, only to exhibit signs of irritability and unhappiness when you're alone together? 7. The conversations are more fights than talks. Conflicts are a natural part of a healthy relationship, typically resolved through composed and constructive discussions. However, frequent and intense arguments often point to underlying issues or dissatisfaction. He might be grappling with his emotions and channeling that struggle into disputes. The tension arising from forcing himself to love you could contribute to conflicts. Persistent quarreling depletes the positive atmosphere in the relationship and may be his subconscious method of creating distance. Are your conversations evolving into arguments more frequently than usual? Do they revolve around seemingly insignificant matters out of nowhere? It's crucial to look for a recurring pattern rather than attributing it to a one-time event. 8. He compares you to his ex. Occasional reflections on past relationships are normal. However, if there's a persistent tendency to frequently compare you with his ex, it could suggest that he's attempting to shape the current relationship, or you, into something it's not. The act of making such comparisons indicates a level of discontent or dissatisfaction with the present relationship. This could be due to his efforts to replicate elements from his past relationship or forcing himself to experience emotions reminiscent of what he had in that prior relationship. 9. His friends and family seem surprised he's with you. Those in close proximity to him might possess a good understanding of his preferences and desires. If they express surprise, feeling that you don't match what they know about him, it could indicate that he's in the relationship out of obligation rather than genuine love. Nevertheless, it's important to acknowledge that outsiders' perceptions of a relationship can be influenced by bias or skewed perspectives. It's recommended to engage in open discussions with your partner regarding any concerns or discomforts you might have noticed from his friends or family. 10. You notice a lack of genuine effort. The true essence of a relationship often lies in the small gestures. Whether it's arranging dates, showing affection, or simply partaking in considerate actions, the effort invested plays a crucial role in maintaining a healthy connection. A reduction in these activities may indicate that he is making an effort to sustain the relationship, but his genuine enthusiasm might be lacking. Take a moment to reflect on the efforts he used to put in and compare them to his current contributions. Are you observing a decline? If a consistent decrease persists, not attributable to factors like stress or personal challenges, it could suggest that he's attempting to force feelings of love. 11. Unwillingness to plan for the future. This indication manifests itself in various ways. He might avoid conversations about future vacations, significant purchases such as homes or cars, or even seemingly minor commitments like organizing a party or attending an event months down the line. His hesitation suggests uncertainty regarding the future of the relationship, which isn't indicative of a deep, committed love. Furthermore, the reluctance to plan for the future might point to a more profound issue, such as a fear of commitment. Instead of jumping to conclusions, engage in effective communication to understand his reasons. It's possible that he is genuinely uncertain about his future circumstances or is facing personal difficulties. However, if these reasons are absent or resolved, and he continues to resist committing to future plans, then there's a concern to address. 12. He's not as responsive as he used to be. When someone is endeavoring to force love, they might not feel as motivated to respond promptly or with enthusiasm. A discernible shift in his responsiveness could stem from his attempt to align his authentic feelings with the emotions he's striving to convey. It's possible that he isn't as emotionally committed to the relationship as he portrays. Is he taking significantly longer than usual to reply to your messages? Does he exhibit a lack of enthusiasm or interest in his responses? This isn't about the occasional missed call or delayed text, rather, it's about a persistent alteration in behavior. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.